as Ash can see, I've been doing some work over here at the base. Sugar cane everywhere, and there's a path that leads to our cactus farm with cactus all over the place. I think it looks really nice to be honest with you. However, in today's episode, we're going to be working on a small building project. Our nether portal. It functions perfectly, but in my opinion, it kind of looks boring. Now, today I want to decorate it using nether themed blocks. I'm talking blackstone, warped warped, crimson, soul lanterns, normal lanterns, all of those blocks. So I had a couple of ideas for today's episode. We could build a massive build around this portal, or we could just decorate the portal. These are some of the blocks I would like to try and incorporate into our build. As you can see, I have a bunch of nether themed blocks. I also went out and got some lanterns and campfires for decoration. And then found a ruin portal and managed to obtain three crying obsidian and 11 regular obsidian, which is just amazing. Now I think what we need to do is unlight our portal before we start working on it. You see, I don't want to accidentally jump into the nether whilst working on this project and then be immediately obliterated by a gas. That would be terrible. So the first thing we need to consider is the size. I've tried playing around with the size of these nether portals. For the design I'm trying to go with today, I think that this size is okay. I don't think we need to change the size, you know. Alright, I would like to add like some blackstone slabs on top of the portal, I'm thinking. So we can tower up. Yeah, definitely. We can add some slabs on top of here. Maybe since there's four slabs, two right here. And we have something that looks like this. What do we think? I think it's a start, definitely. But we need to work on it. Maybe I change the blackstone to blackstone bricks. All right, gamers, it's a start. The blackstone bricks definitely look better than regular blackstone. They're actually polished as well. Now what I think I want to do is try to create some rocks out of these warped blocks. As you can see, I've done something similar over here by the wool farm. Trying to create some wool rocks. Doesn't really make sense, but whatever, it's Minecraft. I'll do what I want, okay? Don't question it. So I'm just going to try and make it look good. But I don't really want it to look exactly neat. Alright, I think I've done it. This actually looks quite nice. Alright, now on this side, we need to build a warped rock. I think we'll just leave it like that, actually. Move it one block away from the portal. These rocks actually look nice. I'm happy with that. Now I think I want to try and add some crying obsidian here and there. Actually, while I'm here, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, hear me out. I've just had an excellent idea, I think. What we can do is remove the corners on our nether portal and replace them with crying obsidian. Because I definitely want to incorporate crying obsidian into the portal to make it look corrupted. But as everybody knows, a portal needs to be made out of obsidian for it to work. We need this to be a functional portal so it can take me to the nether obviously so yes I did get more crying obsidian found another room portal in the savannah and what do we think I actually think that looks okay this is looking quite good so far I think what I definitely want to do make this path larger oh there's one block I forgot that we need here magma so i'm gonna add some soul soil we literally need magma 
it will make this place look so much better. But before we get magma polished for salt, it looks so good. Maybe we do it like this. Okay, I have an idea actually. We can use basalt on either side of the portal and then put a campfire on top of the basalt. Like that and then we can do that on the other side. Build these however you like but I'm happy with this design so far. I think I just need some magma. And then I think I'll just be ready to grab my flint and steel and light this portal. Gamers, here's the finished product. A red rock. A blue rock. Magma, netherrack and salt soil all mixed together on the floor. The path looks corrupted and it looks amazing. Basalt pillars with campfires on top of them. I put some signs around the campfire. Same on the other side. Crying obsidian for the corners of the nether portal to make it look corrupted. Doll lanterns and blackstone on top of the portal. And now for the final touch. We light our nether portal. Wow, this looks very nice. I'm so happy with how this has turned out. And that's going to do it for today's episode. Next episode, I have a big plan, so stay tuned. And for now, good bye, gamers.